Hey guys, it's Beauty Queen here, back at it again. So as you guys saw, if you watched my Christmas vlog where I unboxed my presents, I got the Ollie's Notebook 14 inch notebook for Christmas. And I decided why not unbox it on here for you guys. So I'm just going to cut off the plastic seal and then I'll bring you guys down and work out how I'm going to um, show you guys this. I've been needing a new laptop for ages, so I'm really excited about this. Still has a price tag on it, but I don't know, know how much it was. But originally, the price, this was a $600 laptop from Harvey Norman. I obviously know what we paid for it, because I went in with Mum to make sure I was happy with it. Blah, blah. So, Mum didn't need to, like, hide it. And I got a two... A 24 month warranty on this as well for like if it starts overheating because you can't take the battery out. Now what I like about this is in the store I saw I kind of had a look at what it looks like. And it looks like a knockoff version of the Apple laptops with like HP and Windows technology. So we'll turn you around now. So this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna open it. I'm having to film one handed. So we've opened it. Now we need to work out how it, oh, that opens all the way up. So first off, it comes with the user manual, which we won't look at yet. And then I see the laptop straight away, but we'll go to that later. We'll go straight to this box here. It smells of fresh. It smells, smells so fresh, guys. So if I can open this, it apparently cannot. Okay. I'll be pulling once everyone can. What? I just opened the box and it didn't come out. Here we go. So I think this might be the charging cord. Let me have a look. Is it a charging cord? Oh, it's the charging cord. So straight away what I noticed is I'll get my other one's charger. My original laptop's charger because I know even though it's plugged in the moment charging. Oh my god, I can't do it. The one I have now, you know, plug, which is a three plug, big adapter, and that's what it goes into. So that what it goes with my HP. This one, however, it's tiny. Like that is tiny. I don't see any like power bank charge thing here, and the small thing is just a bit smaller than the one I'd normally use. So straight away, that's weird. So I'm just going to plug this in ready for it to charge. And we'll undo the laptop and then I'll charge it up and come back soon. The first thing I noticed when I plugged it in and undid it was it is really short. So you're really going to have to have like a charging point really close to where you're going to be using the laptop. So let's try and get the laptop out now. I don't think there's anything underneath it. No. Okay. The laptop is really heavy one-handed. So I'm going to sit you guys down here. Hi. Got my very short so we're just going to close up the box so I can use the boxes of the board. Maybe. I'm not good with unboxings. If you guys have watched my channel for a while, you know that I'm not good with unboxings. So here's... Oh God, I really need like a proper thing. So first up, it's got a dust thing on it. So we're going to pull it out of the dust. Wow. So straight away... Wow, so the Ollie, this is the Ollie Snowbook. As you can see, the battery is definitely built in here. There's no way I can get it out. I mean, there's screws, but you can't get it out. Um, assembled in China. The speakers are here and here. Let's turn it around. This definitely reminds me of like a MacBook. Especially how they said, oh, that was really easy to open up the lid. With mine, I could not do it. It's got a very small camera up here. I don't want to touch the thing. And it's got another dust mitt over the top of the keyboard. It's got a nice, like, feel to it. And, so, the screen is huge. Oh, my God. The screen is so big. And it's got Ollie down there. We've got power. Caps lock, number, microphone, and microphone. So it's got two microphones, which is really weird in my sense, but oh well. And it's got all the things. 
So we'll plug this in and I'll go through the user manual and then we'll see what, how it goes from there. So now that it's charging, it's got a little red light on. I just want to talk about this. So it's got the TV put out a USB plug, I think. A USB plug. Another USB plug. Headphone jack. And then our micro SD card. So my laptop here, it takes one of the big SD micro adapters. This, wait, if I can get it up. This takes the, oh my god, I can't get it out. Oh my god, I'm really bad at this. It takes this little thing here. As you can see there. It is in, I think. So that is really cool in itself. Obviously my camera needs the adapter. But yeah. So we're, I'm about to go look through the manual. So it says I need to charge it for at least four hours. So I'm going to set a timer and just come back in four hours. But this is the contents of it. Oh wow. Lots. I know. <laughs> Alright guys. I'll be back in four hours. Okay, so this has been charging for the last five hours, so let's do this. Right, I'm so don't know what I'm doing here, so we'll just put you on my foot, my knee I should say. I really need a second camera for this sort of thing. Okay, turn it on. Oops, sorry that I'm shaking. Ooh, okay, wow, that ollie. <laughs> I just love how big the screen is. It's going to be awesome for Netflix. I mean, I have my TV, but still. So, I haven't done anything. I haven't touched it since last time we saw. Obviously, I did move up higher on the bed so it didn't fall off. But that was all. It does say four hours, at least four hours. So obviously, maybe charge it the night, overnight, before you start using it. But I just left it five hours, and then I'll charge it again tonight. Wow, this is taking so long to start up, guys. There was so much in the manual, literally so much. Like, looking at the first page, talks about the battery and the ports, unpacking your device, microphone, what's all in there, power, blah, blah, blah. So, it is... The specs, these are the specs here where it starts up. So the processor is an Intel Action Cherry Tail, which is up to 1.92 GHz. There is one USB port 2.0, one USB port 3.0, and a mini HDMI. Something's happening here. Oh, just a moment. Um, the Intel. Tell HD graphics up to 500 mhc. Screen revelations is 14.1 inch, and then 100 and no 1366 over 768 HD display. 4 GB DDR3L, which is the 2 GB um, Windows 10 operating system. 3.8 V 9600 megawatts, I think that's not it, M-A-H, <laughs> um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, camera front pixel and then the dimensions, it is 1.35 kgs, and it's still got just a minute. Don't look at my first blur on my screen normally. Oh, whoa. So, it's just giving me this big black screen. What's going on? Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Oh my god, seriously? A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way. 
And if you'd like me to stay quiet, you can just mute your PC. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Wow, that was so weird. I have secret on my phone and now, oh my god, what? Okay, let's start. Is set to Australia, is that right? No, New Zealand. Voice mode on. New Zealand. What is going on here, guys? So she doesn't like real. What if I go in? No. New Zealand. Obviously, I can't like do like things like Wi-Fi or whatever. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yeah. Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Yeah. No. Okay. Add a key. Actually, let's do that. Which language do you want to use for your second keyboard layout? South Africa. Which keyboard layout do you want to add? Wow, guys, this is so weird. Now let's get you connected to. Okay, now guys. Type your credentials. I'm just going to put you guys down and. Enter my Wi Fi password. <laughs> okay, guys. You're all linked up. So it says you have a limited data plan, you can make this network make connection or change other properties, which I know because this is now, on my YouTube. What? There better not be any updates, I swear to God. <laughs> I know there will be. I have a bunch of messages to reply to on my phone as well. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to use Windows. Except, I don't know anyone who actually does read the legal stuff, all the legal stuff that's online, or that's probably also want to use this manual. If I really needed it. Um, okay. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. I will see if they go. They will allow my um, YouTube one, which you guys should know. For if you guys need to message me, you guys should know this email anyway. But it's Microsoft, so they may not. Oh well. All right. Let me write my password in quickly. Um, okay, I'll try my other one. I mean that one, but not coin tips, which is weird. It looks like you're signing in from somewhere unfamiliar. We want to be sure it's really you, so follow the instructions to verify your identity. Oh my god! Seriously, guys. Code. Sure why I don't like that, but it's life. 
just can't believe they thought it wasn't me when I'm sitting up in the top, like, oh my god. It's probably because I'm also signed in on my other laptop, which is ending right now. Set up a pen? Okay, yeah, I'll write in my pen I have for my other one. The same thing I use on my um, other laptop, which I'll use for gaming. Just a moment. They like saying just a moment, don't they? It's been a while since I've set up a laptop, guys. Now let's link your phone and PC using a Microsoft app that can work some magic between your devices. We'll send you a text to get everything set up. Just type your phone number and press send. Okay, um... Do I have reception? Yeah. A text with a link to install your first app is on its way to your phone. Feel free to finish linking your phone and PC first. We can wait. Okay, now it needs to do services. Want to automatically save files and photos to OneDrive for some added peace of mind? Only save files to this PC. These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select accept when you're ready. Okay, yep. Uh, yeah. 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 Sweet. Wow, and now my screen's back and now it's black. What? Hi! We're getting everything ready for you. This made several, several minutes. Oh my god, seriously? Oh my god, I turn off my camera and then it starts up again. Wow! Okay, that's... Interesting. So let's just exit out of that. First off, we'll go to something about this. But first off, it looks like a normal Windows computer. Has a really weird like thing to it though, like with them. Let's walk in here. Oh, that's interesting. So the one I have, if you click this button, Right, this button here, the window screen, I can click it again. It does the full screen. This only does a small part of the screen, which I find really cool. And then just, ah, that min it's really minimalized. So that min mineral. That's cool. It's got a fair few uh, things already installed. I'm going to now go play around. The touch is, right, I'll show you something. Touch should open up. Touch. Okay, so it works just like an i a Windows computer, just with that whole Apple look. 